and welcome to another Ask the Data Governance Coach video. And today's question is one that got sent on LinkedIn recently, where somebody was asking, are data owners and information asset owners the same thing? Now, it's not a straightforward answer as most things data governance aren't. So technically they are different things. A data owner is, is typically responsible for a specific set of data and we mean at its most basic um, building block levels. Um, whereas information asset owners uh, tend to be responsible for a broader category of things. So this is why they tend to call it information. So these could be records, these could be reports, spreadsheets, documents, so um, the term information asset owner has been around for uh, many years and is typically associated with records management, perhaps information security management, um, and has been used a lot um, in the wake of GDPR. So you'll find that a lot of information asset owners think they only own personal um, information. Um, and also they say they're looking at it at a slightly different slant, whereas from a data owner's point of view, we don't care whether the data is in a spreadsheet or in a report or whether it's just it's raw data in a data warehouse or an application. We want the same person to own it. So, um, you know, that yes, if we are really, really um, theoretical and technical about it, they are different things. But in my experience, the more different roles we have around data and information, the more confused the business get and the harder it is to actually implement things. And what I have worked very successfully with a number of my clients over the years is to bring these roles together. Because if you already have information asset owners in your organization, going out and then trying to find data owners because you're now doing data governance, um, will muddy the waters, will confuse people. Equally, if you've done it the other way around, somebody else coming along and trying to ask your data owners if they might be information asset owners, again, causes confusion and causes neither uh, initiative to work very well. So what I have um, with, with a number of clients over the years now is worked out that quite often they are the same people. So rather than trying to explain to people that you know, you're a data owner, but you're also an information asset owner, what we've done very successfully is merge the roles. And we've called them whichever worked best in that organization, usually whichever term came first, to be honest. And we've added the other responsibilities to it because we don't need to add confusion by having multiple roles and multiple hats for people to wear. We can just actually summarize the responsibilities in one role. So um, usually um, it's different teams in your organization that are supporting both these roles as well. So you need to go and find out whether it's information management, records management, even sometimes information security, find out who it is who is using the term information asset owner in your organization and go and work with them. Because if you can collaborate with them and align both of your approaches together, it will be to everybody's benefit uh, it'll be less confusing for the business, so they will adopt both um, approaches that you're doing, and everybody then gets to get the benefits of what we're doing. So in summary, they're not the same thing, but they should be closely aligned. And in some circumstances, you may well be able to combine the roles very successfully. So I hope that has been helpful. And don't forget, if you've got questions that you'd like me to answer in future videos, just email them in to questions at nicolaascom.com.